Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will show you how I apply my makeup during hot summer days. The main idea of the summer makeup for me is to make sure it pretty much just brightens up my skin, hides some imperfections, but at the same time does not look cakey, does not feel heavy. It should make me feel like I'm not wearing any makeup. So it's pretty much summer makeup, no makeup look. But I also love to add a little bit of extra so that it makes me feel a little bit fancy, you know, so it's not like total no makeup 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 look now let's see how I do this so before I apply any makeup of course moisturize my skin and I've been trying out this uh, Sephora tester and I've actually been loving this moisturizer it makes my skin very smooth it just makes my skin feel very good yeah it's a weird description and then my eyebrows come. I use L'Oreal, uh, the brow sculptor in the shade blonde for every day. I always have a backup of these pencils because it's very hard to find this blonde shade in stores. And whenever I need a stronger hold for the day, I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade. This is a very, very durable eyebrow product. The next step, I go over my eyebrows with this eyebrow gel to make sure they kind of freeze, don't go anywhere throughout the day. And then I go ahead and apply some mascara I either use my blink mascara or my covergirl the super sizer waterproof mascara whenever I need a stronger and longer hold for my eyelashes after that I go ahead and use my current favorite concealer by Revlon youth FX full blur concealer blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna read the whole <laughs> label for you guys and whenever I need a little bit of more coverage I use Maybelline instant age rewind eraser treatment makeup it's very thin and light and then I just pretty much dab it a little bit in my face and if I need more concealer under my eyes I will apply more of this or use my NARS concealer to brighten up a little more of my under eye area what do I do next oh next I go over my face with uh, a little bit of powder just a little bit just to you know lock it in place and I need to buy the Urban Decay makeup setting spray it used to be my favorite I'm just out of it and I just can't seem to go and buy it I really don't wear much bronzer but I still apply just a tiny bit just to give me this beautiful very nice fresh glow so I apply this NARS bronzer in the shade craving I love this you have to check this out if they still have it in store so you pretty much can't really see the bronzer and I also apply this a tiny bit on my eyelids again to just define not even apply I just define my eyelids with this and the next trick that makes me feel a little bit more fancy is highlighter I have been loving this Maybelline master straw and stick so I apply it on my cheekbones a little bit on my nose a little bit on my upper lip and brow bone area and I really love my nose highlight I know some people have been mentioning in my YouTube that I kind of overuse my nose highlight but I just really like looking like this you know reindeer with this nose that's just shining and bringing people light and happiness whenever I feel like okay I want to you know shine even brighter today that's when I use this same palette by NARS and this beautiful highlighter very beautiful pearly highlighter just will make your life so much happier and brighter and after that this is it! That's all! That's all my makeup. Literally takes like three minutes to apply this whole makeup and it's very light, it's very very fresh and it's very easy to remove at the end of the day to be honest. I really hope you guys liked it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed and leave your video ideas down below in the comment section. What else? What else? What else? What else? I think this is it. I love you all guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone! Fire when the strong pits you. That's it, friend?